the seller assures that their store is completely reliable and insists on a payment through the shopping voice. Obviously a scammer is not gonna tell you that, ah no, we are scamming you, <laughs> we, we are reliable. Hello everyone, today I'm eager to share a personal story and a vital cautionary tale about the pitfalls of online shopping scams, particularly here in Indonesia. I recently found myself in need of two new televisions. Naturally, I turned to Tokopedia, a popular choice. I located the desired models and made sure to look for a seller based in Bali, my home. Prior to placing an order, I contacted the seller via Tokopedia chat to inquire about the delivery, installation and the disposal of my old TV sets. The seller confirmed they were in stock and mentioned a special promotion for direct purchases outside Tokopedia, which included complimentary shipping, expedited packaging and a discount of 5 to 10 percent. Intriguingly, they send their phone number in segments, likely to circumvent Tokopedia surveillance, because the, the chat in Tokopedia censor phone numbers or other means of direct contact. I decided to remain on Tokopedia chat, expressing my intention to proceed with the purchase and inquire about the delivery timeline. They assured me that the television would arrive the next day. At this juncture, several warning signs emerged. The seller was uh, adamant about transferring our discussion to WhatsApp. While this request could be reasonable, as, as I said, Tokopedia chat is subject to censorship, uh, it lacks uh, practicality and offers limited feature, still the thing raised my suspicion. Still, I switched to WhatsApp. And it's important to note that my WhatsApp number differs from the one that is used for Tokopedia login. So upon joining, because in this way, the scammer learn your phone number because in Tokopedia there is no direct phone number. If you contact them in WhatsApp, they see your phone number. So upon joining their WhatsApp store, I mentioned my intention to purchase a single television, no more two, just one. They confirm uh, the availability of the television and request my complete details for the delivery. So a little bit uh, confused but in good faith, I share my personal information, including my address, uh, my Indonesian phone number, under the impression it was needed for delivery to call me in order to be able to deliver the TV. After disclosing my details, I informed the seller that my plan was to want to place the order through Tokopedia. The seller suggests handling the transaction via WhatsApp to apply the 10% discount on the item following some invoice processing need. As the conversation unfolded, my skepticism grew. The seller pushed for a direct deal bypassing Tokopedia's secure payment system was a little bit of a red flag. I chose to proceed with the payment via Tokopedia and notify the seller. Their tactics then became even more aggressive. I made it clear that I would conduct the transaction through Tokopedia due to the prevalence of scams and my reluctance to transfer money without proper security measures. The seller assures that their store is completely reliable and insists on a payment through the shopping voice. Obviously a scammer is not gonna tell you that, ah no, we are scamming you, <laughs> we, we are reliable. So I informed the seller that I will only pay after delivery, installation, otherwise I use Tokopedia. I mentioned that if the initial purchase is satisfactory, I might process the next TV order directly with them. For those of you that don't know, Tokopedia acts a little bit as an escrow service. So they hold the payment from the buyer, the seller sends the goods, and only when the items are delivered without any issue, and the delivery is confirmed by the purchaser, then Tokopedia releases the funds to the seller. The system helps to prevent fraud, which is why I have opted to pay via Tokopedia instead of directly to the seller. After I made the payment through the official platform rather than to their bank account, the seller attitude noticeably shifted. 
Since I transferred the money to Tokopedia and resisted the attempts to have me send it directly to them, their only option to access my fund was to hijack my account, lock me out and either finalize the fraudulent transaction or initiate the funds to themselves. Their next move was to try to gain access to my Tokopedia account. Tokopedia allows to log in via username email, classic, and password, or by using a registered phone number and entering a PIN code that they send via SMS. The phone number I used for WhatsApp was different from the one linked to my Tokopedia account, which I has provided for delivery purposes. So the scammer contacted me on WhatsApp claiming I would receive an SMS with a special code for the extra 10% discount, which I needed to share with them to confirm the discount. Obviously, the code that I was going to receive is the one to try to log into my account, so I declined and requested that the order proceed as usual. They persisted, attempting to deceive me into giving them a login code under the guise of needing it for inventory system and several other excuses, despite their continuous calls and messages on both WhatsApp and Tokopedia, I did not succumb to their ploys. They even sent me a screenshot of the codes they received via SMS from another scam victim to demonstrate their appearance and to inform me that these were codes sent to them by another client in Bali. The login codes were about to expire and the one that they generated tried to log in with my phone number and as they delayed, the new codes had to be generated. So an inattentive person maybe inadvertently give the code to the scammer risking their Tokopedia account or they go pay balance or Dana balance and the funds that they paid for the non-existent merchandise. They prey on foreigners that don't speak very well Indonesian, so they don't know what the code is for because Tokopedia sends the SMS in Indonesian. I asked them to wait. They claimed the code was for cashback and received input, then called again, but I didn't pick up. Subsequently, they messaged me on Tokopedia chat, requesting the code there perhaps to appear more legitimate since uh, the requests happen within the Tokopedia platform. It's amusing how they refer to generating a new code as uh, recreamed. <laughs> they called again after a short while, persistently trying to obtain the code I was receiving from Tokopedia and send it to them via WhatsApp. I respond to them uh, on Tokopedia chat and then on WhatsApp. Ultimately, the scammer relented and fortunately, Tokopedia closed down the fraudulent store. This episode serves as a stark reminder that the scammers are recently devising new schemes to trick us. So here is my advice. Always use official payment methods for online purchases. Be wary of offers that seems too good to be true. Never ever divulge sensitive data like uh, OTPs or login pins that you receive via SMS. Staying informed and vigilant is our strongest uh, safeguard against online fraud. Keep safe and enjoying your online shopping. Ah, and for those of you that are still interested, uh, there are other two videos, one detailing how a different way there is, there are to scam people on Tokopedia or Shopee or all the online stores. And another one, they tell you the story of how Tokopedia responded to my scam report. Not a pleasant one. Keep an eye out for, for the revelation. And this is Roberto Capodici trying to educate everybody to be safe from online scams. Thank you for following and uh, see you at the next episode.